Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. stuffing. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's home with our little ones and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. 
Honestly, where's that good-for-nothing husband of... Wait till I get my hands on that he really pig! really keeps the spirit of Oakvale alive. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Maybe later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Swine! I ought to chop them right off! You know I only have eyes for you, my sweet. Don't insult me anymore! Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good deeds. So, have you got enough money for a gift for Teresa? I've still got these sweets. Quickly, give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? I haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Thank <laughs> you. 